how to seamlessly loop a particle system in Blender. Set up a particle system however you like, maybe add a force field, collisions, all of that stuff. Now duplicate your particle system and make sure to duplicate it here too. To the frame end and start, add as many frames as your animation lasts. In my case it's 200. This way it's going to be offset it, so when first particle system ends, another starts. Bake all dynamics, limit your animation so that it only starts when the second particle system starts. In my case it's frame 201. Even though it looks like it should be working, sometimes it just doesn't. And here's where it gets interesting. Bro, I wasted so much time because of it once, it's crazy. All you have to do is go to your timeline and press this stopwatch icon. Then where it says end, add at least one lifetime of your particles. In my case it's 150. Now you can uncheck the stopwatch, rebake all dynamics and it should be working. Look. I'm not a scientist, so can somebody in the comments explain why it works like that? It would really help. Oh, by the way, if you were to use some weird physics type like voids, it won't loop either. You can also make it look a little better by scaling particles at the end. Go to particle system, scroll down, textures, and create a new texture. Press on this icon and select blend type of texture. Change coordinates to strand particles. Under the influence tab, turn off time and enable size, and do it all over again for the other particle system. Under the colors tab, enable color amp, increase alpha, then add the white color in the middle and another black at the end. As you can see, it doesn't work for me, I honestly have no idea why, please help, but I promise if you would use an icosphere or something like that that you can just spawn in Blender, it would absolutely, 100% work perfectly.